the Turks and Caicos, they recently celebrated a national holiday, one that commemorates the contributions made by the first chief minister. DeAndre Hamilton brings us a few words today from the wreath flying ceremony. The Turks and Caicos Islands celebrated its Jags McCartney National Heroes Day on Monday. This is an annual event and a national holiday. It remembers the contributions of the TCI's first chief minister, James Alexander George Smith McCartney, who died in a plane crash in May of 1980. Jags was only 34 years old. The day's ceremony involved a wreath-laying, tributes from the governor, premier, opposition leader, family, and a keynote address. A younger speaker, Leo Lightburn, paid homage to McCartney and highlighted some of the challenges for the youth. He called on country leaders to diversify the economy for its young people. Therefore, the government must prioritize diversifying the economy so that returning students do not lose their skills and passions and leave this country. Washington Mizek, Premier, in his tribute, reflected on his encounter with the former Chief Minister. To the youths of the Turks and Caicos Islands, you have a rich history in the example of the most excellent, honorable George Alexander George Smith McCartney. Make a commitment that you, too, will serve this country. McCartney is the only named national hero of the Turks and Caicos. The opposition leader, also his nephew, talked about progress toward Jags' dream of self-determination. There were a number of milestones, okay? You have to do this first, check. Then you have to put this in place, check. You have to put and move to this, check. And then you will get back your government. We can do the same thing for self-determination. Put those milestones in place. Develop those milestones. Let's start ticking the boxes on our way to self-determination. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.